if anyone said like, oh, my favorite character is Mario Pippin, I'd be like, yep, makes sense. Sure. Mm -hmm. Gimli, of there course. Many, many, I, I many, would say many, if someone many. said Legolas, I'd be like, huh, okay. <laughs> oh, a lot of a lot of women would say that. <laughs> I mean, Gollum, that, you know, for <laughs> Gollum. You do Gollum. wonder who would pick Gollum. There's, there's, there's reason to pick him for sure. Gollum's He's, um... like legitimately really good character. Yeah. yeah. I He's know got... a meth head who would like Gollum. Not exactly. for the right reasons. Hell but, yeah. You know. No, no. Hey, hey, right here. Gollum is addiction, like personified in a character. Absolutely. Who are you? I invented Gandalf the Grey. Blade to cut the ring. Sauron's hand. And Andy Serkis. I mean, yeah, it's it's dude, set he's the stage. So reliable. For... He's Absolutely, so yeah. Reliable. Have you ever seen an Andy Serkis performance where you went, "That wasn't very good"? No. Nope. He always no, he always gives it one hundred percent. Yeah, say that yeah. For him. It's that yeah. total commitment to the role. Um, because it's the same with like a lot of his motion capture roles, like Caesar as well. Okay, we'll get there, yeah. but the performance is <laughs> fucking incredible. No more than a broken hand. He also did a really fucking incredibly good job on the re-recordings for the audiobooks for The yes. Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. He really commits to Treebeard to the point that the chapter takes two fucking hours to go through because he talks that slowly. It's Gollum. He's been following us for three days. And now the ring has drawn him here. He will never be rid of his need for it. CJ looks good for being mm. from 2000. I think it, you really see the difference between this and how he is in Two Towers. Oh, yeah. Return of the King. Oh, it was fucking groundbreaking, the CG on him in Two Towers and Return of the King. He escaped the dungeons of barak -dur. Escaped. Or was set loose. That's crazy. A full CG character that's going to be involved in many scenes. That's Jar Jar Binks, okay? Super expressive. Lots I, of I, lines. I, the voice he, acting. He hates and loves the ring. As he hates and loves himself. The thing he, like, doesn't quite cover here, but the books explain a bit better, is, like, the fact that Bilbo's first act on taking the ring was an act of pity is perhaps what helped protect him from the effects of it. Smeagol, he was once called, before the ring found him, before it drove him mad. Like, yep. if he had just straight-up murdered Gollum and taken the ring, it probably would have gotten a hold of him a lot quicker. That's a pity Bilbo didn't kill him when he had the chance. It was pity that stayed Bilbo's hand. I wonder if hobbits make for really good mountaineers, or if it's just these two that have a proclivity for mountaineering. Andy Serkis They're... was an expert rock climber before he even got into this, which was handy. Oh man, roast chickens. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, apparently. Well, maybe not expert, but super familiar, and it came... Cause My god, did is you guys there know... anything that man can't do? He wasn't even supposed to be doing the physical stuff. He just impressed Peter Jackson so much when he was doing his audition, he was like, maybe you should do the physical stuff, and he was like... Uh, well, yeah, you know, so. If you look at the way Gollum moves, like the, he's on all fours, he's like leaping around all over the place, like that has got to be physically demanding for an yeah. actor to do. And Andy Serkis would have been, I don't know, like what, about 40-ish when he did this? I can't remember, would he be mid-30s? No, then, I think he was older than that. I think still, he's probably late you know, 30s. He still does a phenomenal job. And you've got to combine that with the, the raw confidence to walk around in a mocap suit and take it totally well, seriously. What's always so great about that is they have, they exude that raw confidence, but if you ask them, they're like, I don't know if it'll work. Hopefully, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, that's yeah. the thing they didn't know it hadn't really been done before. Well, but they I mean, do it Jar -Jar because they, they gotta did. give I the best this. performance they can for the director and the editor. Nothing ever dampens your spirits, does it, Sam? Those rain clouds, boy. This was the first time we got to see Gollum um, uh, fully on screen because yeah, we got like, a little, little tiny glimpse of um, in, in shadow Moria. and yeah, bits and bobs. Yeah, and I, I feel like the the mocap technology hadn't quite matured by that point. And they weren't quite ready for it, but like with this, they nailed it. You can see throughout the trilogy the the sort of escalation and the number of visual effects shots and like how much work they're doing. Feels like Fellowship is a lot more uh, contained, and then by the well, you know Return of the King, we got these massive spectacles. It was actually yeah. Gollum that inspired James Cameron to believe that. It it's time for Avatar. Well, oh, <laughs> hey, look, all right. Thank I appreciate you. the technology of Avatar and, and yes. whatnot. But... Yes, I mean, yeah, yeah, visually it looks great. I just, uh, I wish he'd thought to write a story. Yes. I think this, by the way, for a lot of people who had no idea what he was, would have been like, what the fuck is this? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Why is there a zombie corpse is <laughs> chasing them around? What is this dream demon doing? <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Wasn't one of the scenes from Fellowship 
that he was in cut out. The only yeah. times I remember him from Fellowship is like you see him getting tortured in Mordor, but it's just like his mm. arms and legs get yeah, up yeah. in the air. You don't get to see his face or anything. The big yeah. major and you get time you see him. Is they Moria, mentioned it right? in Moria. Yeah. 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 You know how Gollum's wearing like a loincloth in this? Did they actually CGI animate his dick? They have uh, to. I think so. They, because they have we've all to. Learned. That is important. Well, I can I can tell you that the one six scale version of Gollum does have a dick. <laughs> I remember nice. you <laughs> announcing that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Frodo named the ring. Jonathan. <laughs> He's like stroking it and he looks up and Gollum stared at him like, I know I'm weird, but you're also weird, just saying. What did you say? Master should be resting. Would yeah, you go back to sleep, pal. Would you describe Gollum as a smart character? I think he pulls off some very smart maneuvers, yeah. He's really old, he's lived this long, he's clever. It's yes. a, yeah, cunning yeah, comes into not, it. He's not, yeah, he's not cunning. learning, obviously, and he's not smart from a strategic point of view, but uh, he... Uh... Survivor. He knows, to, he knows how to work people. Because there are a few opportunities where he really could have taken it, but then he waited for better, more opportune moments. Smeagol. What did you call me? Oh, that look on his face. What did you call me? God, yeah. that was so good. Something that I think they needed to nail more than anything is the eyes, isn't it? Mm. Get them right. Get them working. It adds as much power to the film as Jar Jar does to Phantom Menace, I would say. But oh, let's not go crazy more. Come on. I was going to say, maybe I'm praising it a bit too hard. That's I weird. Secret, a dark way. A dark way. Why would you advertise <laughs> it like that? Well, the, the, the secretive way. There you go. He's up to something. Are you saying there's another way into Mordor? Yes. New rule. If there's any secrets we should know, assume we would like to know. Yeah. Them. Don't, just rule. because you know them doesn't mean that we know them, all right? It's such a like. Yeah. Sure the secret. Like, Gollum. <laughs> what are you saying, you silly? Gollum. Gollum. <laughs> I do love this as well. Gollum is like, are you fuckers insane? You like, what the fuck? Yeah. This was the plan? Jeez. I thought I was the crazy one, and I am. Yeah, we mustn't let him have it. yeah he's just like, you should fucking give it to him. The way that Gollum is just sort of like stroking it. Like... it off, bro, no, <laughs> yeah, Man, he's like, <laughs> he must work out. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to be in the presence of a thick bicep. Yep. He's led us this far, Sam. Mr. Frodo, no. Yeah, and Sam is just the voice of the audience because we're always like, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> have you heard some of the stuff he says? He He's crazy. He is actually bonkers. He's been true to his word. You can tell from the fact that Gollum thinks that hairstyle works, okay? It, it doesn't work. Oh, the hairstyle of a piece of trend well. hair. Can you even imagine him religion? with a different hairstyle? I don't even think you can. You know, if That's he tied it all it up him. into one strand, he'd have the Padawan thing that they Ooh, have yes. yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. Like, how could... You know what I mean? It must have been, like, pretty nerve-wracking working on Gollum. Like, man, I hope we could actually, like, yeah. get this, you know? Yeah, hope, I hope it won't be cringe. Just out and make it work. Yeah. You have to act the fuck out of this role, okay, Andy? Because people might not buy it. We're working really well, I mean, hard, but still, you know, we're real know. lucky with Andy Serkis. Oh, he's so good. <laughs> um, and then I mean, you think about, like, Star Wars. He's at, He's been two different characters in Star Wars, and one of them was also, like, One totally of them was CGI excellent. And sucked. Yeah, but the other one was excellent. Look to my coming. At first light on the fifth day. It disappoints me that he's never been... I feel like it represents a kind of bias that it's like, well, you're you're doing motion capture. You, you never get nominated for, like, an Academy Award for doing a motion capture role. It's like, oh, so you're, you're an animated or you're a sci-fi movie. And right? similarly, he doesn't have as much, I think, popularity or awareness from a lot of people. Like, I think... Anyone who's big into film will will know Andy Serkis, but a lot of people who watch film casually will be really aware of someone like Brad Pitt. But not so much with someone yeah, like Andy Serkis. And it's, it's kind of like part of the nature of the sacrifice of being of doing like voice acting or motion capture is that people identify with faces, and you're very much doing a role where that's just way, way, way less likely to be the case. People have to identify with the voice, or more often they'll just identify with the character. Yeah, you know? exactly. Like it's and... gone. Gollum, Especially if you're like really him, doing voices and really That's doing like roles yeah. that are so so clearly not you, you're acting so much like people forget you as a person, kind of. Yeah, which is like both like a good and a terrible thing. Yeah, like it's it, that's his job. He's nailing it, it's but it's a great thing the... for the art, but it uh, makes your life harder in terms of a career. Because he was um, such a Chad. He was the cook in the King Kong movie as well, right, Andy Serkis? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Just have the 
Delicious. Got to imagine this scene particularly was intense to film for Sneaky Mr. Circus. Holy. Master? Yes. Yes. It is. It's kind of like the nature of the, the challenge of creating this character is just like, there's a, there's a lot going on in the performance that you need to, that you need to translate or create. Swaying back and forth to start it and now cutting hard just yeah. makes it... There's so much clarity. And I mean, it's like, you know, the difference in the size of the pupils. Like, it's a very piercing sort of gaze compared to a much softer expression. It's just that they've got nothing to hide behind, you know? Like, they have to succeed here. There's such a focus on his face. How good it still looks. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah, no, 20 Not years right. later. It's yeah, the, yeah, the level of detail, just the tiny little imperfections of the skin and everything's awesome. And as far as, like, the art of acting, most, most actors are adult pretenders, but, like, this is real acting. It's just like he's in his mocap, but he's all he is acting. It's not just voice acting. And I don't know if anybody else could do this on the planet. I mean, like, it's weird, right? But unique. like you yeah. need them to buy that they are this person. The editing helps though, so much too. Yeah. Knowing you, like your actual face will never be on screen, but you have to sell it. We need your facial expressions, everything. And he just freaking kills it, man. Yeah, there are like a lot of challenges that just get applied on top of motion capture, especially when you've got like the camera in front of you. It's like, oh, cool. So you got to like act against people with a giant camera in front of your face and yep. sell that that's not the case, that you're not in a big suit with a bunch of dots on it. Or, you know, in video games, right, you need to yeah. sell that you're in a location that is actually just a big, you know, soundstage. Look! See what sneaky face And to, you know, to help the actor, everyone's got to take that shit seriously as well when filming you. <laughs> yeah, know that you're Look working towards something big. I love dead rabbits. This is this is all like this is the close we get to like super happy wholesome golem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's him doing Ooh. this. Oh. Behaving like that. Andy Circus must have destroyed his vocal cords doing this. Right? Mm. <laughs> Brodo's so sad. He's like those rabbits for my friend. It's... There's something about the way they animate his eyes. A lot of CG characters, their eyes look distinctly fake, but there's just some quality to them here where they look natural. Stupid fat Hamlet! And I wonder what it is that this movie did differently than a lot of other movies do in that respect. Especially being they've blown up, you know. It does feel like, though, that the, the happiest Gollum got, at least somewhat, because he's even kind of, Frozen not even there, so he could throw his usual, like, bullshit at Sam, but he was even, he was kind of chill with him, just, like, messing around instead of being yeah. more serious about it. It's all downhill from here. Oh, yes. He looks after us. <gasps> Master wouldn't There's another scene, by the way, that you know when Peter Jackson was fucking filming this, he was like, dude... You're pretty good at this. I don't even have to do anything. <laughs> Master broke his promise. Don't ask Smeagol. And we'll be the master. <gasps> Immediate switch to like, eh. We'll turn this filthy little neck. Kill them both. The fat hobbit. Who knows? Like the eye of Sauron, the fat hobbit is watching <laughs> us. Put out his eyes. Is make him crawl no no he is too risky a bold move like basically ending the movie on Gollum to have to like Wait, perform this whole scene obviously reminding us how important the primary mission again that ring to the, the old volcano is and knowing this is going to be something they have to deal with we could let do it companion's going to kill him and he's going to do it in a way that we don't even fully understand yet yep <laughs> And I mean, uh, Faramir is saying, right, like, there's a dark thing there, something. A nameless terror. We take it once they're dead. Once they're dead. So focus, uh, look at him, he's, uh, man, he, you know, look, right, he's, he's moderately unhinged already. Moderately unhinged. <laughs> what a great way to start the scariest scene in the whole, uh, in the whole trilogy. Oh, yeah, this By is showing this you why Andy this Circus is, really looks like. This isn't the scariest yeah. scene, because it doesn't have Hobbo's, I... ho Bilbo's creepy-ass Hobbit face on it in Rivendell. <laughs> it is fucking, look, it's disturbing, is how I describe this. Yes, it's, uh, it's very disturbing. And it does... starts so innocently. They're just fishing, having a great day. But then, yep. unfortunately, that's they a found whopper. The ring. It's amazing yeah. to be like, yeah, that's Andy Circus. Hey, go on, go on, go on, go on, put it on. 
And then yeah. comparing well, him here, Andy Serkis to... never looks like Andy Serkis in movie. No. no. And the rest of the fucking sequence just being how the ring tears him apart. He cast us and drove us away. Like, just like he's melting away and turning into this fucking husk. <laughs> When the Reigns people yeah. saw that, they were like, I feel like putting an R on this, but I have no justification to do it. <laughs> like, it's just How so you gross. you so many like it, people yeah. from watching this film? How could you? We forgot the taste of bread. But also, when we talked about how Andy Serkis, he's the kind of actor who no, no oh, ego allows himself to be totally absorbed in the role. The eyes. Oh. Yep. Look at that. That's insane. So Excellent smooth. work. 20 years ago. Oh, that looks so good. T exactly oh, 20 fucking today. years ago. Children both. <laughs> Listen, if we're going to talk about our plans to kill, then maybe move a little further away. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He was alone for a long time, so he probably just thinks they can't hear him. Or doesn't get oh, him. I think you get away with a lot of stuff because he's fucking mental. Like, he's, <laughs> Gollum is not uh, altogether, you know? You might, you might describe mm -hmm. him that way. No. Never. Just needs a self-help book, all right? How to win friends and influence people. It was just—it was rough in all uh, Osciliath for him. He's—he's uh, he's been betrayed one too many times. How to win fish and influence hobbits? It's us. Patience, patience, my love. Patience, my love. All it's weird when you whisper that to us all the time, like before, right before we start an EFAP and you whisper that. Fring, we've been meaning to say that it's really creepy when you do that. <laughs> I so. was just going to talk yeah. about how I really like the filmmaking that's on display here in terms of drawing a divide between the two personalities. You turn on when they go in. There's no coming out. Well, they did it excellently in New Towers, and now this being a reflection in the water is, uh, and he's particularly menacing. She's always on. She always needs to feed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, he's just not moving as much as more, is he? You oh, know? and I remember he's this so was static. fun for me because a friend of mine who was super into the books, he was telling me, like, before this film came out, that he was like, I hope I can't wait to see She Lob. And I was like, What's that? I remember describing it to me, and I was like, Holy fuck. She hungers for sweeter meats, hobbit meat. <laughs> Considering the first two, I was like, Giant yeah, Spider. And the then games. knowing all of that, then having Gollum describing her, and she, I was like, Oh, shit. Yep. Yeah, precious. There'll be ours. That's how it says. Oh, oh, that's an incriminating line. If only Sam had a yep. recording device. Yep. Sneaker wouldn't have to fly! I always love that reaction. <laughs> that literally how people behave when they realize their head's bleeding. They look at their head and they're like, oh fuck, I'm bleeding. It's like, I was already bad. Now I'm like, really bad. Master. Oh, this is seriously a chance for him to just take it off. Like, oh, I think he just weighs yeah. it up as like, nah, it's, it's a more, it's a more sure thing to let Shelob do his shit. Frodo! Get back, you! He could still do it. Oh, I, th I, I still think he weighs it up that uh, it's safer to do so. with Shelob. Sam's not going to stop him from there. Hey, I don't know. Sam is pretty OP. <laughs> Throw the sword. He's seen how he's seen how how deftly he moves. Must carries heavy burden. Oh, we about to get to share the load. Fat one cannot know. Fat one cannot know. Oh, Smeagol looks so good. Look at that. He looks dude. better now than he did in Two Towers. Like, there's a, there is a jump in the quality again, isn't it? Like, I think one of the most uh, telling shots in Two Towers is right when they put the rope around his neck. He kind of sticks out, but that's, like, seamless. That one was super well integrated. I think it might have been all of the, like, the sweat and the dirt and everything yeah. as well. Just giving uh, him a sense of tangibility. Same with that shot when they're just entering Sheila cave he looks fucking phenomenal there don't do it sam don't fall asleep man i i guess you got no choice but like i would feel so uncomfortable sleeping there let <laughs> me include the fact that he's like this is fucking gross i guess he's hoping as well that frodo would believe him a very messy eater he doesn't eat as he's I mean, not he doesn't as need to be messy as to have enough to see a crumb or two very nice friend oh, yes my precious very nice very all right all right sorry it's just that you fucking sneak all the time you did Jeez. mention as well you're gonna kill us and you seem to be insane we have to be moving on but that lock that rock did look really comfortable but we do need to go it's gone the elven bread 
that expression with Gollum, like, oh, gee. What? <laughs> Me? I, I don't even oh, like no, it. No. Gollum looks fucking fantastic. Yeah. He does look good. Yeah. Almost as good as Jaw Jaw Binks. Nobody uh, nobody said anything about that, so I assume everyone agrees. Totally agree. I'm oh, sorry, I was listening to Gollum. What? The Binker. Misa agrees. Oh, Jar Jar Binker Rooney? Did you, did you just fucking call him the Binker? <laughs> the Binkster. <laughs> I mean, we still, everyone still wants Binks' a Star Wars story to happen. I still want him to be a Sith. I, need to I know feel how like got... a Jar Jar Binks film would make more money than most Star Wars or Marvel films. Especially uh, if we could get a pretty bad practical suit and then just the actor and... You know, just just <laughs> the Tatooine so, set, and that's it. We don't, we bring do back, we bring back the actor, and he just clearly has this human face there showing, but he has like the puppet mask on top of him, like he had in the uh, scenes. Oh no! It, and they just guys, play it like that. Do you guys remember that Beowen drawing of Jay, but with like big ears and the fucking Jar Jar eyes sticking out of his oh, head? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just, that's just, a good one. Just, just do that, but with the actor. Mm -hmm. And then he makes the same voice. <laughs> it could be just ruthlessly The thing shitty. about it is, if the budget stays under, let's say, like, five million or whatever, it'll make a profit. <laughs> it'll make money. <laughs> Everyone will be like, yo, did you see this Jar Jar movie? Yeah, it's you gotta like, see the Jar Jar it's, movie. It's insane. Halfway through, he can, like, stab a child to death, and then the movie just doesn't it's, address it's it right at all. There. He runs the... from the police, and it turns into an episode of Cops. He would. He, he feels guilty because he's the reason that Palpatine is where he is. That's, that's easy. It's, it's right there. Yep. Especially now that we've talked about it, I just keep noticing, like, Gollum really, they stepped him up for this uh, film compared to yeah. two Towers. He looks really good. Oh, he's like, yep, I'm leaving. Bye. Yeah, fuck this. <laughs> What's interesting too oh, is that back. even if Smeagol had died there, that would have been like, like a completed. He made his yeah. choice. I would. Like, that could as, have been the end. I totally agree. I fucking love the shot of Smeagol getting the ring. It's such oh, a, absolutely! It's so good. On top of everything else. Well, it's just a culmination of low points all at once. God. I, I want to go up to all the animators and be like, I hope you know you made literally the greatest thing ever. Just like, make Gollum sure you stop off so at every other department good. as well. Yeah, but just like, Gollum's CGI holds up so fucking well. It's incredible how well it's held up up to 20 I, I mean, th this is pretty fucking silly looking here, but... <laughs> well, the irony is, like, it's, that's how it would look. <laughs> oh. Oof. I mean, it's, he's completed his. He's so journey. happy. God, everything's going horribly wrong. What do you I mean, mean about this movie? God, the, this is the happiest guy in the world. The absolute fucking deafness of going from down to up to down to up. The deft hand, I mean. <laughs> he's at peace. He's so happy. <laughs> And everyone all over the world in all theaters was like, what? <laughs> like, 